So a while back I made a video about how to earn fur cash fast and I unfortunately made a huge mistake in that video that I didn't realize until people started commenting and I realized what I had been doing so wrong. That method did make me fur cash very quickly but it wasn't the quickest way and it wasn't the most efficient and expensive way either. So in this video I plan to show you guys how to make fur cash fast the real way and the updated way. Of course, you can still explore and get as many materials as you can, as well as use your warrior for it. That doesn't do too much, but it can be a bonus. What you're looking for is seeds. Any seeds that you get are going to become extremely handy in the second part of the process. So it looks like I've done all my explorations here, yes. So what you want to do after that is you want to go to your herbalist. And I know I'm shortcutting because I have this on the side. It just makes it so much easier to control what I'm doing and to go to things quickly if they have cooldowns, like the herbalist. So as you can see, I've planted some seeds. I'm just going to harvest all of those. What I try and keep my pots at 50. I find 50 to be a good number. Often I will have 50 or um, le just less or just above of plants after I've planted the ones from the past hour. I also try and only plant once an hour, even if it will only take half an hour to grow, just so that I can collect enough seeds for the next hour. Because, you know, like you can see here, I, I try and only plant one batch, otherwise I will run out very quickly. So once you've planted those, it's just a waiting game. And once those have been harvested, and I'll just show you with the previous ones that I harvested earlier, not with these ones because I've got to wait half an hour for these to come out of the ground. What you do after that is you go to the quick stock button, and the quick stock allows you to very quickly move items from your story, uh, your inventory to either the storage, the store, the menagerie, the cell, the cell. Uh, you can either sell the item or you can discard it. Please don't discard if you have the option to sell, it's just I don't know how someone can even make that mistake, but, you know. Uh, so what you want to do after that is you just want to sell it back to the site. Don't bother putting it up in the store. I mean, you still can, and you'll still probably make some money from it, but this is the quickest way to do it. If you do sell it, please, if you do uh, move it to your store, please do not sell it for the same price that's offered if you just sell it back. Because what's the point of putting it in the store where people may take hours to buy it when you can just quickly do this and then you get it within minutes. Then you just click the submit button of course and then it will come up with how much fur cash it's going to give you. In this case only 2600 but uh, you know that's still a pretty good amount. So yeah just confirm that and then your fur cash will jump up by the amount that you've sold it for. So yeah, that's the quickest way to do it. I keep all of my other items generally because I'm a big crafter on this site. Um, and yeah, that's that's it. That's all. So yeah, that's just, that's the method. Another cool way to make a lot of fur cash is to use that to craft potions and then sell those potions in stalls. Um, although that can lead to even less fur cash, which may not make sense, but it's what actually happens. So yeah, uh, that's all for now. Uh, thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!